In this video, you're going to learn how to create AI voices by describing them with voice design. Hey everyone, what's up? Ay caramba! Well, I've seen a few seasons come and go, that's for sure. And you're going to learn how to craft the perfect voice prompts for Eleven Labs to create some incredible, unique AI voices with the exact delivery you need, just like this. Which allows you to create unique voices. You shouldn't have said that! We're five minutes away from the drop zone! So voice design lets you create custom voices when the library doesn't quite have exactly what you need. I'm going to break down how to write the best prompts so your voices sound intentional and unique and we'll cover how to get expressive generations using the 11v3 model with audio tags. You can make them laugh, cry and express any emotion that you want your voice to have. That way, by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to design voices for characters, audiobooks, games, videos, and any use case you can think of. And so first, let me show you how voice design works. So in Eleven Labs, to create your own AI voice, all you have to do is click on Voices, then over here, click on Create or Clone a Voice. And now we just want to select Voice Design. At the top, we have the prompt box, and this is where you describe the voice that you want to create. And then below that, we have the text to preview box, and this is where you input the text that you want to preview when designing your voice. And so let's say we wanted a voice for a movie trailer, I could go ahead and type that out or choose from one of the templates at the bottom. And as you can see, it's inputted both the prompt box and the text to preview. And once I click generate voice, you'll then notice that Eleven Labs goes ahead and generates three different voices for me to listen to before choosing my favorite voice. In a world on the brink of chaos, one hero will rise. And so as you can see, that's one of the three voices that's been generated. And if I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and click select voice. And then now I can name this voice, label the language, give it a quick description so I know which voice it is, and then click save voice. But the most important thing when it comes to creating AI voices with voice design is the prompt itself. The prompt is what tells the AI what kind of voice you want. Everything from age, tone, accent, pacing, and even the audio quality. And the better your prompt, the better the AI voice and the more it will sound like the idea that you had in your head. And so let's go through the best practices of how to create the best AI voice prompt, starting with the simple stuff like age, tone, and gender. If I wanted a young, energetic male voice, that's exactly what I can type. So here's a young adult male, cheerful and energetic. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm so stoked for the weekend. I was thinking we could hit up the park, maybe play some frisbee or something. And now if we completely flip the prompt and we go with an older woman in her 70s who's calm and reflective. Well, I've seen a few seasons come and go, that's for sure. It's funny the things you learn along the way. As you can see, those three things have a massive impact on the voice I get. And the voice matches these simple descriptions very, very well. As well as age and gender, the tone changes everything because we could go with deep gravelly male voice. I've seen a few things in my time, you know. Or a smooth, mellow female voice. It's the simple things that truly make life special. And so these three things make a massive difference, but we can go a lot further than that. And the next thing we could add would be the accent. And the accent can instantly ground a character in a certain region or culture. So for example, if we wanted a middle-aged man with a thick French accent, we can have exactly that. Uh, I still find myself dreaming of new recipes, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Or we could compare that with a younger woman from Texas. I'm just a small town girl, born and raised right here in the heart of Texas. And so literally describing where your voice is from can have a massive impact on it, but you can also get very creative. And so if your character wasn't actually human, describing the actual character can also help a lot. And so for example, we could have something like an angel with a British accent. Eleven's light shines ever upon you. Or maybe even a goblin with a Spanish accent. Ay caramba, you found it, the shiny thing. Is it for me? <laughs> and so as you can see, going in depth on the details of your character really have a massive impact and you can go much further than just creating human voices. Once you've found the tone, age, gender and the description of your character, you can then start to describe the delivery of your voice and the pacing and emotion. And these things really bring your character to life because they control how fast the character speaks and also how the voice feels. And so we could have a character with a more slow and deliberate voice. You know. It's truly fascinating how the simplest things can hold the most profound beauty. And here's a different, more fast and hurried voice like they're in a rush. I need those reports on my desk, Paul's ready to go in the next hour. No excuses, no shortcuts. We're aiming for top tier quality as always. And then when it comes to adding emotion, we could describe something like an angry drill sergeant that's shouting orders. We're five minutes away from the drop zone. Stay focused and regroup as you get on the ground. And you get a really, really real life angry drill sergeant. And you could also go the opposite and have a gentle therapist that's talking calmly. Sometimes just taking that first step can be the hardest part, can't it? And so as you can see, adding the emotion that you want your character to feel or to be conveying in their voice really makes 
great AI voices. And by default, Eleven Labs generates clean audio, but you can also specify the quality of the audio you want your voice to have. So for example, we could add at the end of our prompt studio quality microphone, but then we could go with the exact same line and add old phone instead. And this really makes it a lot easier to then bring that voice into whatever project that you are working on because it will match the rest of the environment. And finally, once you've crafted the perfect prompt, the text that you use to preview the voice matters when creating in voice design because the model tries to match the delivery of your text to the style that you describe. So let's say I prompt an angry drill sergeant shouting orders, but the preview text is something soft, like it's a beautiful day and I think we should all relax. It's a beautiful day and I think we should all relax. The model is trying to shout those words and so it might sound a little bit weird and unnatural. But to quickly match the text that you're using to preview the voice, to make sure there isn't a mismatch between the prompt and the text to preview, you can simply just click auto generate and Eleven Labs will automatically create some text to preview based on the prompt in the prompt box. And the great thing about automatically generating the text to preview is that it adds audio tags. And we're gonna to get to audio tags in just a second, but let me break down a couple more settings. We have two sliders, loudness and guidance scale. Loudness is pretty self-explanatory and this only really needs changing if you're creating a unique voice like an ASMR voice where you never want it to be that loud. And so here you could actually try turning it down a little bit. And then guidance scale is like a dial that tells the model how strictly to follow your prompt. And so a higher guidance scale means that the AI will stick very closely to it and then a lower guidance scale will give the model more freedom when creating your voice. But for both of these I recommend just leaving them at the default settings unless you're playing around with voice design and you're not quite getting exactly what you need. And now that you know how to write strong prompts let's take a look at audio tags and how to truly make your voice generations expressive. Audio tags let you fine-tune how your text is spoken. Things like pauses, speed, emphasis or even whispering and you can think of them as stage directions that you can embed directly into your script. And here's how they work. And so back in Eleven Labs here we we can click on text to speech and if we want to choose the voice that we've just made we can go ahead and click on the voices drop down menu and then you simply search for your voice if you want to use one of the default voices i recommend choosing one of the voices from the best voices for v3 category the reason here is that we're going to use audio tags which help make the voice more expressive and audio tags only work with the 11 v3 model but once you've chosen your voice here you can simply type out the text that you want to say so here i've got i can't believe you actually did that and now if i simply click generate I can't believe you actually did that. So as you can see, we have these exact words spoken in a very natural and human-like way that sound just like the voice that we've chosen and it should sound just like the voice that you've created with voice design. Imagine I want the delivery a little different. Well, this is where I could add audio tags. For example, imagine I wanted my character to be laughing when saying these words. Well, if I go to the beginning, I can add an audio tag. And so here I could go ahead and type out laughing and then close the square bracket. And now let's regenerate the speech. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did that. And so as you can see, we have our character delivering the exact same line, but this time they're laughing. And we could take it further than this by adding multiple audio tags. For example, imagine at the end we wanted them to sigh, which is less of a actual descriptive word, but more of an action we want them to take with their voice. Well, we could do so. So let me just click generate. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did that. <sighs> As you can see, we now have our character laughing and then sighing at the end. And so we can keep on adding these directions as to what we want the voice to do and how we want the words delivered. And we can mix it up by combining audio tags. We can add multiple different emotions within the same sentence. So here, after I can't believe, I could then go in and add, let's just say a pause because I want a quick break. And then I could add another audio tag where I want the character to whisper the rest of the sentence. So we start off laughing, or maybe we could actually make this upset because I want the, the, the tone to be different. I want my character to be upset when delivering this and then whisper the end. So let's click generate. I can't believe you actually did that. <sighs> And as you can see from these few examples that you've just seen, I think you can quickly understand how you can combine audio tags with an AI voice that you've just created with Voice Design V3 to create the exact AI voice generations you need for any scenario and any character. And now, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos like this and you found it helpful, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.